everyone, it's me, NYSE Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange, September 26th. This month is flying by, this summer flew by. It's Tuesday, market's off just a little bit. We've had a bit of a roller coaster bit of a day. Market opened up, and then there was some chatter, Miss Yellen came on. We've got, we've got so much stuff going on. We have North Korea going on, but I think the market up was up this morning because Mr. Trump said that tomorrow huge results in their tax reform bill was going to come out and people are hoping that's going to be positive, right? It's not Obama's, it's Trump's. And with the promises he's made as far as tax reform, that's what's kept this market in a flurry ever since the election, right? So that is super positive. That happened. Then mid-morning we had Yellen came on, who, you know, we're not really clear whether what she's in favor of, hawkish or dovish or whatnot, but they, you know, we they, they the Fed minutes threw the uh, December rate hike on the table. She kind of reaffirmed it in a certain special way. And the market sold off. We had a major sell off in gold again today, which broke 1300. That's a big deal. So I'm not really sure. We've seen it during the last couple of days. We saw the market when the market sold off. There was a reversal on that, you know, with the North Korean news the other day. Market sold off pretty hard midday and, and oil did, and gold did a big reversal and rallied 15 points. Well, today we actually broke through that 13. 100 level, which has been a big deal. We're down 15. Russell up, Spider's up and off, up, down, down a little bit. Transport's up 50. It's kind of a weird divergence. We do have some, you know what? I'm really not clear what's going on. Market's not really going up, but it's not going down. It's trading in a tight range. We're seeing intra-day moves that are significant. I basically believe they're headline driven, but the headlines are not coming through, following through with actual facts. The whole North Korea thing was, a headline, an intraday headline. It was posturing, it was whatnot. Tax reform came out as a headline. We don't have the facts on that yet. The whole UN problem for a bunch of days was, uh, was a headline driven thing. So there's a lot of that going on. What else happened today? I'm trying to wonder. I mean, there was some, a number of stocks that got eviscerated. One Axon, that was a big deal. Or some, it was an Alzheimer's drug that got negated by the FDA. Stock is down 72%, right? A $25 stock down $21. That's significant. So the market's thin. This morning's imbalances were super quiet and super thin. It is coming into another Jewish holiday. This is the sell in Rosh Hashanah by Yom Kippur mode. And you know what? It hasn't really bore itself out at all. But this is a week of the highest holidays for the Jewish people. Shana Tova to all of them here and all over Europe. There are a lot of them. Uh, so the volumes are kind of quiet. We had 750 million, that's a light day. So while the markets were sort of divergent in a lot of ways, Nothing that significant happened. We're trading in a tight range. Russell up, spy up, Dow down, gold down. You make sense of it better than me. NYSE Einstein, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Wednesday, hump day, we'll see what's going on. I love you all. Stick with Einstein. Stick with the NYSE. Stick with Inside Bergstein. Giddy up.